stars When we are happy where we are Why do we need to touch the stars When we are happy where we are Why do we need to touch the stars When we are happy where we are Oh, just realising how noisy this chair sounds to me as I'm wriggling around. Can you hear it? Oh, well, I can. <laughs> it does squeak a fair bit. So we're here on the 16th of August doing the Lenin, well, it's, it is the Lenin deck that I'm using for the regular daily card spread. And I've been using the same deck for quite a number of months, probably, well, it definitely is over the year. Um, <laughs> just a reminder, it is the general card spread that I'm doing at the moment for the first part of this uh, live stream. And I might yet do a few little individual ones later. I don't know. Depends how, how my tummy starts rumbling. I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> um, just to let you know, let your friends know that we are live, just pointing to it now. Oh, now. This is where it gets tricky, doesn't it? Like doing that, look there. See, let your friends know that we're live <laughs> and do that. And it's also on the YouTube as well. I'm not um, too chicken to say that I do simulcast to YouTube at the same time as Facebook. I think there's uh, there seems to be a bit of a thingy with Facebook trying to create fear that if you go off their platform, you're going to be ning -ning, like that, something like that. Anyway. Um, what I'm going to do, I know I'm a bit early, <laughs> so I actually click the button to start the live a little um, in anticipation that I didn't want to be late because I was nearly that yesterday. But anyway, we'll continue onward. Uh, I am on the MyTimeTV.live page, so if you want me to see your comments, whoops, um, the link is in the description of what uh, you might be looking at. I'm pretty sure I made sure that it was just below the date in the event page and in the, uh, you know, the, the description, what's up there. So, hi, Kathy, how are you? It's a good morning. It is a good morning. Even though there is rainy clouds out the window and all the rest, there is blue sky too and it feels just so nice and fresh. It's just, I don't know, it's just... Sunday. <laughs> There's something about it this morning. I feel really, really fresh and lively. Um, I have been up since about four o'clock though. And we'll continue onwards. I'm going to take down my scroller because by now you might probably have read that. And it's not needed because you know that it, I'm Ros Boundy because you're on either my page or you've seen it with the logo up there <laughs> because I quite like my design of my logo. Um, at least it's a way of having my name there so that I don't have this. This is how it shows up otherwise and it's a little bit bland and plain. So there you go. That's what I've decided to do it as a little logo. And uh, I do want to say good morning to Kerry Ann who is over on the Ros Boundy page. I do have it cross-posted to there and also to my Hypnosis Plus with Ross page. So th there are several places you can watch it. Now, I'm going to switch around to the cards because it's what we're here for. Um, <laughs> oh, so it's chilly outside, is it? Oh, I haven't been outside yet. Um, inside here, it's not so bad. I have had, I mean, obviously you can tell that I've had my shower because my hair's still just slightly damp. Um, I haven't put my slippers on either, so my feet aren't getting that cold yet. <laughs> so, and good morning to you too, Wendy. I can see that you're on my Ros Boundy page as well. Now, uh, I mean, if you want to, click that link that says MyTimeTV.live, but you don't have to. The, the whole show is on three, four different places. Um, not that it's a show, it's just doing your readings <laughs> as per usual. Here we've got the deck that I use. It is the Gilded Reverie Lenament, um, the Ciro Marchetti's one. Ha ha, good one. Yes, you found me. So I'm hoping that it was very easy to find me because I'm hoping that the link did go in the right place just below the date up there. So 
Um, I just want to try and make it as easy as possible for everyone to find where this is because I love sharing these readings. It's just so, uh, I don't know, it's just something that I enjoy to do and I hope that you guys get some, you people, guys, not all of you, it, very interesting connotations with that word guys. We use it as a, a catch-all, but really it does have that slightly male-ish type of a connotation and I don't think that's really warranted. Um, yeah, so, so that you as people here can um, see some form of guidance that might gel with you, that you can understand your life a little better with what little messages you can take on as far as that intuitive level, okay? Now, hi, Carol, I can see that you're on my Ros Boundy page as well. The link is up in the description if you want to come over to the MyTimeTV.live page. We well, you could try YouTube if you want to. I'm on there too. <laughs> now, what we've got is the five-card spread because it's what I have been using for well over the year now. It's the workspace here in this first position of the card. This is the second position that actually represents the home energies. Up the top here in the third position, that is the unexpected card and what pops into the day there. We've got in our fourth position that is the role that is yours. So it's actually your role in the day. And what we've got in the centre, of course, is the outcome that what you might have as at the completion of the day, so to speak. So we've got the owls in that workspace, so that uh, environment. Now, if you remember and see, remember that's the expanded edition. So with the expanded edition in this particular Lenneman deck, we have the two forms of the birds, like we have the two forms of the women and the men, and there are the extra cards. So the birds, the owl as the bird card is the extension of what is communication and what is the chatter. With the other one, it's more about the chatter and communication with each other and just being a bit wary too of what is gossip and that type of um, banter, chatter. Now, this here, it moves it further on in being mindful that whatever it is around your work, as far as uh, how you are dealing with the information and the what you hear and speak, is with that um, intention of wisdom, finding what is the more wise path in what you're doing and what you're seeing and hearing. So it's not just... Um, you know, just to, to nat, 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 and talk, it is more to actually be that wisdom uh, depth, that level of depth in what you're doing with your work. So find what really is that truth in what is being spoken, seen and um, heard really uh, because and especially in these days at the moment where you hear so much of the American election and all the advertising and all the everything and and is there really truth? And especially even with the coronavirus, the misinformation that is going around with so much stuff and especially because it's so easy for us to be able to access and share, uh, there is that viral factor with untruths as well as the truth. And it's so hard to filter out. So dig into your heart space and that's, that's coming. <laughs> so... We've got the rider in our home space. So in whatever you've got around you as far as your home and the people around you, you can expect actually today a message that's going to be rather important for you in whatever way that's going to treat you. I love the rainbow and how the, the horse here, it's, it's the carousel gone free and being able to deliver as at will any message that's needed for somebody to hear or read uh, it could be in the written form but I just feel that this is just any type of message keep your ears open for even some words that you might hear in the background of conversations it might not even be a direct communication but you will pick up on that message and I'm feeling because we've got the heart space there, the heart there that we are needing to do that from our heart space pick up on our own intuition too around what we're receiving as those messages. I do feel it's going into some depth today of what is that more inner being 
of our soul, I suppose, at that central part of who we are, well, that essence, actually. And as we're looking at the fish in the unexpected, the fish is that, you know how um, when you see them school uh, as a school of fish and, and they um, can all turn in one direction, uh, you know, one and then another and another unexpectedly, you don't see that they, they're about to do that and they're just still all in synchronicity as if, you know, that, that mind is as one. That's what this feels like for me today, that mind of being as one with your source, you know, allowing whatever emotions there are because the fish is in an, in a water base, of course. It's a little bit, I'm just feeling that little bit more of the emotional connection for today. And I suppose that's too, that for uh, the majority of people, a Sunday probably is a little bit more along that um holy day sacrosanct in our societal mores because of weekends being more the days off or especially the sunday the day of worship or what was in a previous generation that was very important like my parents and that type of feeling around you know allowing the more in-depth emotional side of yourself to actually come forward and it will in those unexpected moments. It could be at what the message is that you're going to receive or that you are receiving even now that you got, you're feeling a little bit more on that emotional side as, you, as you're into, oh, look, that sensing. I'll just have to say it's that sensing. Um, things can be even a little bit more amplified in water as well and that energy of fluidity. Um, purely because, you know, if you see a glass of water sitting there and you look through it, it, it does act as if it's a magnifying glass at times. So I'm feeling that that can be even broadened again because of that emotional centre. And, of course, the heart here, this, these are, this is the heart card in your role. It really does feel like today is needing to be that heart-centred day. Feel the love for yourself. Go deep within and examine or just feel, just be in that space. It's not something you have to analyse. You really don't have to analyse it. Just be it and have that sensation of gentleness with yourself. You look at how softly these this pair of swans is actually touching at that heart. Oh, I think it's touching. Oh, not quite if you look at it closely. I'm going to see if I can get that closer without the, the glare, uh, and it's very difficult in this light. Can you just see that, how it's that? It just really gives that epitome of gentleness, love, and really connecting in that it's not quite the touch, but it's the energy of it. It's that feeling, and I just really love that being there for today. Uh, it's perfect timing in what we've got for our day today, especially how the cards lay out. It really is listening to self in wisdom and taking on what messages we're receiving. Uh, the clouds in that central outcome card, it really does feel like, and as I'm looking at the grey clouds outside even, not that it's been all that stormy, but we have had a few days of rain and darkness with the clouds, of course, because rain clouds are dark, um, clearing out to being that beautiful sunshine and the flying free. And especially with the birds, uh, as in the owls, as a bird card, the owls being right next to it, flying free with all that wisdom and sharing it out and taking it to the sunshine. That sunshine energy just spreads its, and it, it does, it, it really does spread. So, Oh, I don't like heights and I'm just even feeling now as, as taking flight, having to leave the ground and then flying, um, you know, those moments where I've been in planes and you hold your breath as you're about to do that takeoff because I gather that the takeoff and landing are both the both stages that are the most dangerous. But it's just that, that energy of, oh, and then you're free and you're flying and, just being able to observe and be at peace in the air, able to glide wherever you want to, 
use the energy of your wings and the physiology of who we are to keep moving wherever we want to and in that flow of being, actually just being. So I'm really feeling that it's a really wonderful day to take to take advantage of that feeling of being in essence a connection with your soul and that love that self that that is right at that center uh, and needing to actually listen to that wisdom you know the wise within <laughs> because we all have it we all have that knowledge within from that that has been brought forward from all of our ancestry and past lives and all that is um, and being able to just connect in as the group, like with the fish in a school of fish and being part of, you know, our one in the part of what is humanity effectively because we're not fish. I mean, we've got to know that, of course, but, but connecting through our heart and soul um, with each other. So I'm feeling really, really blessed today to actually be alive it's just one of those things as much as I found it hard to go back to sleep once I've woken up this morning at that particular time and I thought oh worry worry I was no I didn't want to worry I wanted to get in and finish that last bit of the book work that I'd started yesterday so you know it was that connection from one thing to the other and then moving into it and setting it free because I've done the bulk and majority of it you know there's those things that we let get too much for us that we can just let them set free uh, set that set them free and part of that process is our role of the you know from that heart center you know we know that it's the best thing for us and just to do what's needed and get it get it flowing get it flowing now i have for today what i did just to add that little bit of extra is because this type of platform that we use to share, um, you know, the, the, I'm using B.Live, it's Studio 2, it's the progression of what started many years, well, it is many years ago in the nature of technology. I think it's been B.Live or B.Live was going for several years before I even started, a couple of years ago. And it's grown and developed. And one of the things that they have actually grown in this and developed is a live shopping platform now normally I don't do the promotional stuff but today because it's something that I'm wanting to actually share for tonight um, it's not this one <laughs> the tarot oracle um, what this does now um, this is part of what I do offer and I've been beefing up oh, what do you call it not beefing up, um, adding back into my Shopify website, which is the hypnosisplus.com.au, that website, I have been putting back my psychic reading settings, um, you know, op op options, opportunities, tarot, oracle, card readings is one of them. And it has a URL link. And one of the things that we can do through the BeLive now is have our products on screen, describe and talk about them, and the link will actually go automatically into the comments, which it already has here. And I'm seeing that it's also done the same on my YouTube <laughs> because I'm just going to show them here. So this is the one that goes into the MyTimeTV.live. Um, chat stream all right so that's there and here it, it's popped up here as well the exact same link into the YouTube's <laughs> chat stream so I find that really interesting I didn't know it goes to the both at the same time because I am simulcasting to the my time TV and the YouTube at the same time my YouTube channel so that's interesting and this is one of the reading option readings options that I have that's on that hypnosisplus.com.au. I'll actually um, change this to that just so that you know that this is where the website is. It's hypnosisplus.com.au and we'll just show that one as it scrolls on the bottom. So that's where these links actually originate from. I needed to um, I had a notification from Shopify that I couldn't use their Shopify payment gateway because Psychic, 
anything referencing psychic hypnosis and stuff was apparently prohibited on their payment gateway. But I can use the PayPal gateway through them. I consider it a bit of an oxymoron or a contradiction or whatever. The Shopify site allows me to put these things on. I took them all off thinking they'd give me back the payment gateway. They didn't. So I've put all, I've been putting back on the, the psychic references and left the hypnosis, blah, blah. So that is where my bookings, uh, you know, the payments are made for particular items. So that's one of them. And then I've also added two more, uh, three more. I've got four items all up. So you'll actually get four links directly. These links you can actually go and click on straight away and go to buy whatever is being talked about. And I find this is absolutely fantastic as an opportunity for people to be able to get their products out there and known, especially if you are doing custom-made, handmade, whatever way that you'd like to. You can chat about it at the same time that you're showing it uh, and having the link there for people to go and buy. I reckon it's a great idea. So this is the next one that I put on there. As you can see, the link has come up again. There's the YouTube one and the My Time TV, the Facebook one. And this is, oh, hi, Monica. My monitor, can I please get a reading? And when will I get the love of my life? Now, I'm not doing personalised ones right now. I might probably get back on later today. But since you're here... Uh, we'll wait until I've finished going through what I'm doing at the moment because, uh, you know, there is a few, there's a couple more that I do actually want to promote. So here I've got the Grand Tableau. Now there, and this is going to be relevant for one of the other little items that I've put in this four item list. So it, it's the grand daddy, you know, it's the big one of what is the Lenneman readings is to have a grand to blow reading. I'm still just learning it myself how to do these. So um, it takes an hour probably to get a really good gel, really good reading with this, but it's where the whole deck, not the expanded deck, I haven't used that one for the grand to blow yet, but using the whole deck to get a really detailed reading around whatever question that there is that you're asking. So that one, because of the nature of the detail and how long it takes, that's why that's $120. Now we've got the next item that I've put on here, and this is another one that I'm playing with, practicing with. I haven't used this one much and it hasn't been asked for much, but the Egyptian oracle is entirely different in that it has the tiles and you lay them out on this board. And it's something that I haven't done it much yet because it is where that book is that you can see the blue book with the Egyptian oracle. It really is at a point at the moment for me that I still have to read from the book for this one. It is one that needs to be read and learnt, not just done from a picture card, which is how I really love doing the cards. So this being tiles, it's tile entirely different and unique. So I'm looking forward to practicing that one a lot more and hence the, the value of that is a little less because I'm not as practiced with it, right? Um, and it can take between 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. Not 100% sure. I haven't done as many of those yet. And the final one that I wanted to actually put here was relevant for tonight because I'm starting the next sort of series of, oh, not tonight, this one's for starting on the 26th of August, sorry, um, to do the reading your cards because there has been a couple of people who've bought the Lanaman deck and really wanting to start learning reading your cards. Um, now, this one isn't specifically related to just the Lanaman. Uh, it can be any of the other cards. It's an exploration and being able to read your cards for yourself that is on a more intuitive level. So that's the link to that one. And I've decided to start that on the 26th of August, as you can see. Now, the one thing that I forgot to put on is that I'm doing a, um, a series, well, it's not even actually a series, where that grand tableau 
um, was, I'm actually doing Sunday nights at 7.30 via a Zoom meeting and these courses, the lessons are Zoom meeting links. So you do need to be online um, and have ability to join in with your phone or laptop, uh, desktop, doesn't matter. And um, you don't have to have the video, you don't have to have a webcam, but certainly need to actually hear you talking <laughs> and that is response as part of it. Um, but what we are doing, what we're doing with that one is just the Lenamond on a Sunday evening and learning the a little more of the details or exploring together more than anything. But the goal for that one is the grand tableau and why I actually put that within the four with that live shopping, <laughs> just to give it as a um you know, as a uh, example of how detailed and it's going to bring some really interesting stuff to share together with doing that. Um, so I'm looking forward to that at 7.30. Now, if you click that link for the, not the Grand Tableau reading, but if you go to the Hypnosis Plus website, you will see in the, oh, actually I'm not too, I can't quite remember whereabouts that is. I'm just going to have a peeky over there. And I might just grab the connection for that one because I had forgotten to put that one in that area. Um, it's called, I'm just trying to find, what's the date? Today is the 16th, isn't it? So the Lenamond Zoom session, and it's only the $20 each night, for, like the Sundays. And uh, I'm just going to put that there as a pasted it in and send that um it's twenty dollars for each of the sunday night ones and i'll send the link out to those who have registered you know paid for it um possibly about the hour before the session i'll close it off at that hour um limit before we start at 7 30 so those will close at 6 30 and that's just going to be an ongoing sunday evening one so feel free to join in. There's not really a pre-requirement to know the cards or anything. It's it's an interactive session, that one. Um, I have got one of uh, one of the um, students who I've had in a previous course. He's, jo he's definitely joining me and a little bit more knowledgeable. So we're sharing the info and it's going to, it's just, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. So that's the information that I've got as far as the extended info for today and trying out this Be Live feature of the live shopping. So thank you very much for indulging me for that. And what I'll do for you, Manita, Manonita, um, hopefully I am pronouncing your name correctly. I can tell it's probably needing something different with the tongue to pronounce it correctly, Manonita. And uh, what I'll actually do is just personal message to you um, because it seemed, I haven't seen your name before and it's lovely to see new faces here all the time. It's why I do encourage you like, to let your other friends know if, they, if you feel it's worthy to be watching this type of guidance first thing. You know, it is first thing in the morning for a lot of people at 8 o'clock. Uh, I do this live stream for the card spread at eight o'clock every morning. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the moment are pre-recorded because I have a new part-time job, but every other morning is a live stream. So thank you for being here. And I do hope that you can be um, continuing on with a wonderful day for yourselves and take the guidance that you've received from this, especially when you take that time to actually sit in your little Zen space or quiet space or personal time for yourself to connect with that inner being and really listen to what your soul is telling you, that intuitive gut feeling area. There's many names for it. Thank you, Wendy. Um, I'm pleased that you uh, do gain something from this because it's lovely to see that uh, it's lovely to see that what I'm doing is worthwhile <laughs> because I just love doing it. So continue, and it's with the aim of allowing people. You know, we can sometimes have goals that really are for other people's 
you know, to please other people. Be just you. Be yourself. Be in that Zen space and really listen to what your soul is telling you to be the best person that you can be because we are all in this together in such a way that it can be very hard to understand the why, the wherefore and, and, and all that it is involved in being here in humanity, especially the way things are going at the moment. But we are here and we are experiencing what we need to and being the best that we can be within that realm of understanding what more can we do, what more can we be, um, being present. So thank you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at about the 8 o'clock, uh, if not before, for those that would love to join in one of those links as far as, uh, is that like that? Yes, it is, for the tonight's session or even to join in with the card reading course because it's not really a course but it is a course, you know, <laughs> on the Wednesday 26th. Thank you and namaste.